Hey what's up guys this is Byfrost here today we'll be setting up Yuzu emulator on our android device in 2024 including the latest base settings gameplay test and much more but before starting let's talk about minimum requirements you need at least android version 10 or above for Yuzu emulator android along with that at least 4 to 6 gb of ram snapdragon 680 processor or above but if you have a snapdragon 860 processor or above then you should be good to emulate games such as pokemon sword legend of zelda and much more so let's get started all right guys to start off we'll need to first of all add the yuzu emulator onto our android devices now there are two types of yuzu emulator android one is the normal yuzu android build and the other one is yuzu early access now Both of these emulators are officially available on Play Store so all you have to do is open Play Store and search for Yuzu emulator. Now Yuzu is an completely open source Nintendo Switch emulator for Android. Even in the normal build of Yuzu emulator there are two types of versions. The first version is the Play Store version and the second version is going to be on its official GitHub page. You can also try out the daily updates released by the developers of Yuzu Android on their GitHub page. Now currently I am using their official build from GitHub. It is the Yuzu Android build number 214. and we'll also talk about the best settings gameplay and much more but my recommendation to you will be to go with the yuzu play store build as it will be a bit stable but it will lack the upcoming features if you want to support the developers you can also purchase the yuzu emulator early access build like i have done right here anyways let's go back to setting up the normal build of yuzu emulator android once you open it for the first time you will get an welcome ui just go ahead and tap on the get started button after which tap on the next button and tap on skip Now it will ask you to select the folders where you have stored the appropriate files. So just go ahead and tap on select and add the files which you are legally done from your Nintendo Switch. Once that has been done, it will ask you to select the folder with your game. So let's do that. Once that has been done, tap on OK and now we are all set with the initial setup of Yuzu Emulator Android. You will see your games being shown in the Yuzu Emulator's main menu. The next step is going to be to apply the best settings. For that, just go ahead and tap on the settings icon. The first thing which you should do if you have a Snapdragon processor Android device is to use Meza Turnip Arduino driver. For today's video I'll be using the Turnip driver revision 16 by the official developer and the main reason you should use this graphics driver is because it will provide you almost 2 to 3 times more performance than without graphics driver though it only works on Arduino GPU so devices with MediaTek processor and Exynos processor you won't be able to use this Meza Turnip Arduino drivers. Nonetheless let's head on over to the global settings for that tap on the advanced setting option make sure to go to debug and uh, set the cpu backend as native code execution this is very important it will increase the compatibility of yuzu emulator android while providing better performance once that has been done let's head back let's go to system make sure that limit speed percentage has been disabled if not then you can set all the way up to 400% which will be using for our today's video once that has been done make sure to disable dock mode as dock mode can increase resolution and provide better graphics whereas it will also decrease performance by a little bit compared to handheld mode so we'll be keeping dock mode disabled once that has been done let's head on over to the graphics section which has most important settings make sure that the accuracy level is normal but if you are facing any graphical issues then you can go all the way up to high accuracy level and your gameplay should be uh, relatively stable though i will always recommend you guys to go with normal accuracy level as it will provide you with the best performance possible in terms of resolution set 0.75x once that has been done we sync mode make sure to turn it off Afterwards scroll down aspect ratio keep it as just to fit make sure to enable force maximum clocks and asynchronous shaders there is another option known as use reactive flushing improves rendering accuracy in some games at the cost of performance so we won't be enabling it because we want the best amount of performance possible and the main reason why we are setting up this yuzu emulator from scratch is because i just bought a brand new device this is iq12 so we'll need to find out how well does yuzu emulator android perform on an snapdragon 8 gen 3 android device nonetheless once you are all done with the best settings another thing which I recommend you guys is to just make sure to hold the game and add your save data right here is the save data section which is very important make sure to add appropriate save files so that your game starts working pretty smoothly if you want to play the game from scratch then you are all set let's start by testing out zelda tears of the kingdom on a snapdragon 8 gen 3 android device to see if it works properly or not at the top left corner you will be able to see we are getting around 60 fps let me max out the audio so you guys will be able to hear You can also see at the top left corner it says NCE/turnip. 
which means that we are using the NC build. Anyways, there we go guys, our game has successfully started and there will be some graphical issues as Yuzu emulator is not completely optimized. The audio output should be working properly and you will be able to see that we are getting stable 60 fps no frame drops no issues whatsoever so yeah that's pretty cool i guess this is more performance than what you would get on the console itself nonetheless it won't be as stable because there are obviously some graphical issues let me increase the brightness so you guys can see it a bit better and let's zoom in yeah the game is running at more than 60 fps during the cutscenes that's the power of snapdragon 8 gen 3 compared to 8 gen 2 uh, which used to only get around 30 fps we are almost getting twice as much fps so a huge improvement nonetheless this is how you set up yuzu emulator on your android devices be sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification if you want to watch similar videos on my channel i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching goodbye